starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Ah, place beginning to look like something. Nice, very nice. Almost time for my field chores. Uh, Peyton's has come along so good, I, I uh, kind of hate to stop. Don't worry, we've got lots more to do. Yeah. Timmy, I thought I'd help you put your things away. Oh, you finished already. Look, I know you want to help your father with the painting, but I don't think he's ready for you yet. Oh, that wasn't why I was hurrying, Mom. You see, Boomer said he'd be over this morning. He said he had something he wanted to show me. Boomer? Uh-huh. Ralph. Oh, yes. That's a little boy whose family moved into the Peters farm. Yes, ma'am. He wouldn't tell me what it was. He said it was a secret. Hi, Timmy. That's my dad. Glad to know you, Boomer. And that's my Uncle Petrie. Howdy, son. Hi. And this is my mom. I guess I should have introduced her first. Well, how do you do, Ralph? How do you do, ma'am? But my name's Boomer. Oh. You don't need me to help you with the painting today, do you, Dad? Not yet, Timmy. You can lend us a hand tomorrow. Okay, Boomer, I can play now. Good. Pleased to meet you, everybody. I'll come see you soon again. Where is it? Where's what? What if it was you wanted to show me? Do you think I got it in my pocket or something? Close your eyes and I'll show you. Lassie, too. Lassie, close your eyes. <laughs> What's your bike in there? Open your eyes and find out. Gee. What's her name? It's not a her. It's a him. And his name's Mike. <laughs> hey, looks like they're friends already. Sure, Les is easy to make friends with. She likes everybody. Here, Mike. Here, boy. <laughs> Here, Mike. I thought you said his name was Mike. It is, except he doesn't know it yet. You see, it's up to me to train him. Lassie and I'll help you if you want us to. Gosh, that'd be super. Let's go someplace where Mike can pay attention. Okay. Come on, Lassie. Come on. <laughs> this looks like a good spot. Okay. Let's teach Mike how to play dead dog. Uh-uh. Pop says he doesn't want a dog that can't earn his own keep. Mike's gonna have to learn to be a real farm dog. I know what. We'll teach him how to herd sheep and maybe cut a calf out of a herd, just like Lassie does. That'd be great! Now, you pay attention, Mike, because if you get to be just half as smart as Lassie, we got nothing to worry about. Okay, Lassie. You pretend like you're a sheep. It'll just be for a little while, though. You want to help Mike be a good farm dog, don't you? Okay, I heard you beating those two bales. Now you watch this, Mike. Okay, Timmy Heard!
Come on, Lassie. I wonder what's the matter with him. I don't know. I guess you can't expect him to catch on right away. Let's try again. Okay. Come on, Lassie. He's tried it. What do you suppose is wrong? I don't know. Gosh, Mike, if I'm gonna keep you, you just gotta learn to hurt. You know what I think's wrong? I won't hurt Lassie because he knows Lassie isn't a real sheep. Sure, that must be it. That proves Mike's pretty smart after all. If we ask Uncle Petrie, he might let us use a real sheep. Well, come on, what are we waiting for? Real sheep, you say? That's right, Uncle Petrie. Mike learned twice as fast. If he knows it's a real sheep he's practicing on, not just last year pretending. Hmm. <laughs> Guess you got a point. Reckon that one'll do? You bet. There you are. Good as new. Now, Boomer, <laughs> you and Mike stay here and watch. Come on, Timmy. Come, Lassie. Timmy, you stand over by that tree. All right, Lassie. Come here. I want you to show Mike how it's done. Now, you heard that sheep uh, right between Timmy and me, understand? Good girl. Now, you watch this, Mike. <laughs> heard, Lassie, heard! Good girl, Lassie! <laughs> Dog ought to know his own name before he starts in herding sheep. Guess he's had too much teaching for one day. Can we try again tomorrow? Sure. If it's all right with Uncle Petrie. Well, you're welcome to try, son. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Not that I think it'll do much good. Come on, Mike. Gosh, Lassie. Maybe Mike will never learn how to herd sheep. At the present time, the storm, which may reach cyclone proportions, is 300 miles west of this area. Please stay tuned to this station for further... Good thing Petrie and I did that work on the storm cellar last week. Looks like we'll be using it. Yes, but what about the animals? Oh, no need to worry about the cows and the horses. They'll be safe in the barn. But he said something about a cyclone. No, there's nothing to worry about. The way the storm's heading now, it'll pass to the south of us. Does that make you feel any better? <laughs> A little, little. Go to see Miss Susie Anna sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Well, Timmy, how'd you like that? You was nice. Uncle Petrie, what's a cyclone? Cyclone? Well, now, let me see. If you was to take all the windy days you've ever seen, mix them all together, and start them puffing on the backs of a hundred runaway locomotives, then I guess you'd have yourself a cyclone. Gee. Could a cyclone blow over that big tree by the lake? Uh, sure could, Timmy. Why, a cyclone could send a whole barn of spinning up in the air quicker than you could snap your fingers. Gosh, did you hear that, Lassie? <laughs> now, don't you go worrying your head none about cyclones. I ain't seen but two in my whole life. Come on, Lassie. Do you hear something? No, I don't. I... Now you just go on out. Go on. Come on, Leslie. Out you go. Get out of here. Now go on. Get out of here before I make it. All right, now, Timmy. 
me. Suppose you tell us what this is all about. Lassie and I weren't doing anything wrong. We were just saving the animals. Saving the animals, Timmy? From the cyclone. Uncle Peter said the whole barn might get blown away. Well, I'll get Bessie back in the barn. <laughs> That was a fine thing to do, son, but the animals aren't in any danger. There's a storm coming, all right, but there's nothing for us to worry about. You mean the barn isn't going to get blown away? No, it isn't. And the storm that Uncle Petrie spoke about, the cyclone, isn't going to come anywhere near Calverton or this farm. Are you sure? Pretty near positive. I guess you can come out now. Maybe it's our fault, Mike. Maybe we should have started out by teaching you something easier. Like shaking hands or teaching them how to sit. That's it. Show them how Lassie does it. Okay. You watch, Mike. Sit, Lassie. See how easy it is, Mike? Now, when I say sit, you sit. Understand? All right, Mike. Sit. Sit. Come on, sit. Sure is getting windy. Yeah. Dad said there's a storm coming up. He heard it on the radio. Come on, Lassie. We better be getting back. We better be getting home, too, Mike. Come on. Bye, Boomer. Bye, Jimmy. Come on, Mike. Timmy, we're just, well, you might say we're just on the edge of one. But there's no use taking any chances. You better get into the cellar. Okay. for that now, son. These woods aren't safe with this wind coming on. But, Pa! You heard me, Ralph. Mike will have to take care of himself. Now, come on, let's get going. Didn't she come into the cellar? I thought she was with Timmy. 
Uncle Petrie? Well, last time I saw her, she was trying to round up one of them scatterbrain chickens. Lassie! Lassie! No, son. We've got to find her before something happens to her. I'm sorry, Timmy. We know how you feel, but, well, we just can't leave the cellar now. But Timmy, your father's right. Lassie knew there was a storm coming, so she must have had a reason for running away. God, please take care of Lassie and don't let anything happen to her. Be all right. Can we go look for Lassie now? Yes, Timmy. We better separate. Uncle Petrie, you check the north pasture and I'll take the meadow and the lake. Good idea. What about me? Well, you can go and look too, dear, but don't get too far away from the house. Okay. Pretty healthy to me. This is just a social call? Oh, she's a little friend here, is it? Come here, little fella. That's the way. There we are. Let's take a look now. Easy, fella. Nobody's gonna hurt you now. Let me see. Didn't anyone call about Lassie? Or Mike? Well, no, dear, they didn't. Well, that doesn't mean that we won't hear something. We looked every place we could think of, Timmy. We even checked the woods and the lake. There was no sign of her. Then I guess you didn't see Mike either. Lassie's fine, Ruth. Just about the healthiest dog I ever laid eyes on. Uh, Dr. Weaver is a veterinarian, Boomer. That means that he takes care of animals when they get sick. Is there something wrong with Mike? I'm afraid there is, son. You see, Boomer, your dog is, um... Well, he's hard of hearing. Maybe that's why he didn't answer his name. I heard she. Gosh, Mike, and we thought it was because you weren't smart. Doc? Do you think we can do something about it? I think I can, but of course I'd have to have your permission. Just think, Mike. If Doc fixes you so you can hear good, they can learn to be a real farm dog, just like Lassie. Then Papa would have to let me keep you. I 
guess he's telling me it's all right with him, too. Congratulations. Was that it, Lassie? <laughs> 